yes, this is my first Barrel Conference. Um, it's been very uh, informative and uh, exciting. Um, I particularly enjoyed some of the entertainment last night. Um, I was very impressed with uh, Vidak, who put together the event with, with his musical uh, talents. Um, and honestly, I learned a lot of things that I wasn't expecting to learn uh, about Puerto Rico, uh, about blockchain, um, and in all honesty, alternative data is kind of my, my specialty, so uh, not as much learning there, but definitely some good connections that I made. So the question was about um, whether the uh, managers that I met um, that didn't know much about alternative data, whether they have more of an appetite now. And uh, I definitely th hope so. Um, I, I definitely got a lot of good questions from people that were less uh, sophisticated with alternative data. Um, and that tells me that they're you know, wanting to learn about it. Um, I think that there's, a, there's other um, investors here that invest in, in hedge funds themselves. Um, and in that case, you know, they, I think they want to know how to ask questions of their managers that they're working with about these uh, you know, data and artificial intelligence and analytics. Um, and I think this conference definitely helps them to answer, uh, ask you know, more educated questions along those lines. I think the bi biggest impediment for uh, managers to uh, implement alternative data, honestly, is talent. Um, it's expensive. Um, and you know, not, not that many people really are educated on the subject of alternative data, analytics, data science, and, um, and you know, it's expensive to hire those people. But events like these really help people to learn, even people that aren't technical, to learn and understand how to speak to those employees as well. I think in the short, very short term, in the next year, it's, it's, uh, man managers need to bring uh, more talent in-house. But I think uh, over the medium and longer term, vendors need to become much more sophisticated. Uh, they need to know how to uh, make their products more attractive to investors rather than for other industries. Um, and uh, you know, I, think, I think the data it will just become more clean and more easy to, uh, to aggregate. And they really need to honestly create in really uh, nice, nicely contained investment research reports that a lot of different types of investors can understand these, these alternative data sets. In terms of the future of the industry, I think that um, prices need to come down and they, things need to become a lot more transparent in general. So a lot of times people are spending a lot of money on data that might be public data, maybe just, just uh, analyzed in a new way, um, and, or they're, they're um, spending, you know, vendors don't know how to charge for their products either because they don't know how much value that they ha their products have. They might be working in a different industry and then they're now selling it to a hedge fund. They don't understand that hedge funds maybe have a high appetite to spend or maybe a smaller hedge fund has a small appetite to spend. So that everybody just needs to have more education and more openness in the industry. Um, in, terms of the, in terms of the hedge funds, it's, it's really, um, you know, waiting, we're, we're still kind of in a waiting game for them to be ready to really ingest a large amount of different types of data sets, because uh, that's what we're really, where our specialty is, is in different types of data sets. Whereas um, for, on the vendor side, it's uh, really being educated on what alter, uh, asset managers are looking for in those data sets.